September 13th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at satellite images over the Gulf of Mexico. Um, we you can see the storm very clearly in the center of rotation is at the top of the clouds right there. Also in the top left, Texas, you're still getting some of this California smoke. Look at that. It's actually coming from the west coast. It's coming all the way down, not just California, but you got problems in Oregon and Washington, too. And, of course, the smoke is going through Arizona and New Mexico to get to you, and it's moving up north, uh, pretty much the same path we saw yesterday. But, guys, we now have a potential Cat 2 hurricane on our hand. Track hasn't changed much coming up into the New Orleans area, looping up into Mississippi. It's tracking right over my house. Um, Hopefully, it will be downgraded by the time it gets there from a Cat 2. But, guys, uh, you need to pay attention to this. A Category 2 hurricane is nothing to play with, nothing at all. You know they're going to be evacuating some areas. You just went through this in uh, Louisiana a few weeks ago. Mississippi, you had some closures. Uh, you're going to have the same thing going on now. Now, let me say this. The storm is a little further north at this point than originally predicted it, it kind of went north along the coast of florida and now you see it spinning out to the left so that's going to change how it affects the coast along alabama and the florida panhandle the closer it is the more uh, offshore winds rains and possibly tornadoes and water spouts that you're going to get this is the latest from fox uh, on uh, tropical storm sally by 2 p.m. today, 60 mile an hour winds. You've got 50 mile an hour winds now. You cat one by Monday at 2 p.m. Tuesday at 2 a.m. In other words, over in the middle of the night, just after midnight, coming up the looks like the uh, almost the Mississippi River here as a cat two hurricane coming back and looping back through Mississippi, going into Alabama and out through Georgia. You see that by Friday 2 a.m. 25 mile per hour storm very close to the Atlanta, Georgia area. Now, this is the uh, peak storm surge forecast graphic. It's part of the experimental uh, modeling that they're using now. I think they've been started on a couple years ago. The highest peak surge is here uh, southeast of New Orleans at 7 to 11 feet. You get a little uh, further south on the other side of the river, 4 to 7 feet over to Port Fouchon, Fouchon. Uh, from four to seven feet along the Mississippi coast, two to four feet around Mobile, and it tapers off to one to three feet all along the uh, Florida Panhandle. That's what I'm saying. Because the storm is very close, it's pushing everything ashore right now. So watch these peaks, Mobile Bay, two to four feet. Doesn't sound like a lot, guys, but I've been there. I've done it. I've been in that bay during bad weather and all along the um, Alabama and Florida coast in 20-foot seas. Nothing to play with, okay? But, guys, I just wanted to do this very quickly. We're gonna, I'll do a full update this afternoon just to let you know the storm is strengthening, where it's at, and what the potential is. You already know what a Cat 2 storm can do. But you guys are Lake Bourne in that area, Lake Pontchartrain, uh, 7 to 11 feet well, as it comes ashore, further up into Lake Pontchartrain, 4 to 6 feet. But guys, pay attention to it. Get your preps ready. Gas up your car and truck. If you don't have to leave, you can always use that extra fuel in your generator. It's a heads up. Be safe.